Happy Monday. It's currently 10.14 in the morning. It is sunny, but it's negative degrees today. I have a lecture from 15 to 17, but I'm gonna go to school earlier to study a little bit at the library. And then I have volleyball later. <laughs> busy week ahead today because I have a presentation and a test next week and it requires a lot of reading, a lot of literature reading. So I'm gonna try and spend every day at school to get a lot of studying done or at least at the library. So that's what the plan is ahead for this week. Oh yeah. my test and presentation. Also, I have this study essential. Monster drink. Volleyball session done. It was a lot of cardio, but I didn't get to touch the ball much during game, which is sad. But next session again. Oh my gosh, I missed filming with this camera so much. I accidentally left this camera in the Uber and I didn't get it until two weeks later, but I'm so happy I'm filming with this again. I haven't been speaking much. I've been having a pretty busy March lately. I've been having back-to-back -back presentations and tests. It really required a lot of reading and I had to read a lot of Brazilian literature. So I've been spending a lot of days in the library. I was reading Okinze by Rachel de Quiroz, um, Feliz Ano Novo, Ruben Fonseca, Uma Galinha, Clarice Espetor, um, what else? A Morte, A Morte de Quincash Pero de Agua by Jorge Amado. It's just a lot of reading, a lot of Brazilian literature. I haven't been able to like fully focus on vlogging, but I've been vlogging as much as I can, like getting a little snippets here and there. 
and I've also been playing a lot of volleyball twice a week, three times a week even and I really was able to like really focus on a lot of cardio yesterday like one of the people I trained with in volleyball he was like oh like you've worked a lot on your cardio and and it's true because I remember when I first had my first volleyball training I was gasping for air because the cardio I did not expect at all but now I've worked on it the thing is like volleyball always coincides with body pump so I haven't been able to do a body pump which I miss so much but I think lately I've been looking forward to volleyball more because I think it's fun I've been getting a lot of bruises from volleyball and the thing is it doesn't even hurt but I feel like it's just because I'm used to playing volleyball and the thing is I was playing volleyball yesterday and I think I strained my thump a little bit so now it's like pretty hard for me to grip things when I hold a pen or when I do my skincare it's hard for me to open bottles yeah I've been doing this the past day but yes I also went to my favorite antique secondhand bookstore in the world it's this place called Ronel's Antique Variat it's just beautiful like rows and rows and floors of different books like they have every genre you can think of. They even have like this one whole shelf about tobacco which is crazy but I went to this and I picked up a book. It is called The Eye of the Disaster, a journalist's work and media coverage at traumatic events and it basically talks about journalists when the line of duty becomes eyewitnesses to a traumatic events may face the greatest professional challenge of their lives. This book basically surveys the journalistic task of covering accidents or disasters and includes press ethical principles in psychotrauma and psychotraumatological issues such as stress reactions and coping. This book is actually the author's doctoral thesis. This is also used as course literature for students studying journalism in university and I can't believe I'm reading this just because. But I realized like ever since I started picking up reading again I've been reading the same kind of genre like murder, mystery, thrillers, those kind of stuff and I kind of like want a breath of fresh air and I kind of want to try diving into like classics or like informative books and I saw this and I bought this for 20 crowns only. This book kind of has a specific focus on the Gothenburg fire back in 1998 and it's just really interesting this whole thing so I've been reading this the past few days and because now I'm done with a lot of presentations, tests, like I can kind of like take it back a little bit and today I'm gonna go out because it's good weather today, it's 10 degrees, it's pretty warm today and I'm gonna go get coffee with a friend and just enjoy the day. I was supposed to play volleyball later in the evening but not with this situation. The thing is that like, it looks pretty normal but when it like the joint here really hurts and my sister's boyfriend recently gave me his old GoPro so I'm gonna try and film with this and see which is better, this camera or GoPro or if they're just the same but yes I haven't been filming much because we're just busy 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 but I've been doing my best with filming a little bit here and there but I hope you guys are well happy spring it's supposed to be spring but yesterday was snowing here but I don't know happy spring wherever you are and let's just enjoy Stockholm today <laughs> Thank 
you. And super easy. Anyway, so yung yun yung panaginip ko. Tapos, ano, Thank tas, you. Oh, coffee. Yay. Second coffee of the second coffee and tea of the day. Normal coffee. Coach mother, my hand is fixed for the meantime. I want to destroy it. Let's make dinner. I'm gonna make chili con carne, but vegan without the carne. It's chili con vegan. <laughs> How do you like uh, put it down? Falling to pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's good. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm walking out.
in Gamla Stan. Boyfriend said he was gonna take me cafe hopping. <laughs>